guys. Sorry about that. We got, <laughs> we got a few people here now. Um, and what's crazy is I was I was kicking Seiko's tail. Man. So he just, thinks. You better, leave that, you better leave them drugs alone, dude. Yeah, listen, I, I was. I was no, it ain't no joke. I heard. Here I was over here destroying Seiko, and then it just, it just went. No, it ain't no joke. You and the, <laughs> you and the Demon Slayers mess it up. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> So I guess I guess what we want to leave leave off at before we well, cut out of again. I mean, what what wanna... we'll do is let's we just we just kind of um, summarize. Yeah. Um, my point is this, and here's, here's here's I think the interesting thing about it. The the main part is it is possible to look at the scriptures and come to a different conclusion. Now, my take is this: is that if I look at it, if I for let me give you an example. Let me give you first. For instance, to make it clear, if I think that babies definitely go to heaven, um, I want a passage. Now, unfortunately, I wish there were more passages other than maybe what we look at with with David's child. And that doesn't say it conclusively, but I just I believe that that God does so that when babies die, they go to heaven. I had a child that died. So yeah. I believe that. I have, now, two, I have, I have two more passages that, that, would, that would support that, but continue. Well, they, they're, they're not definitive. That, that, that's the only point. We don't, we, we just don't have, we don't have some of the things that we want to have answers to. We don't have the definitiveness that we would like to have. The things that kind of the be all the end all. We, we know that Jesus Christ died on the cross for us. That we do know. Uh, why? Because the, cl- the stri- scriptures, the, the, the You're scriptures buffering are, again. are clear, huh? You're buffering again. It's You're buffering, buffering again. again. Yeah. No, I, no. Right now, it's, it, it's saying that I've got excellent connection. So right, okay. right now we're good. I don't know what that was. Though. I really don't know what that, yeah. what happened there. But because um, when I look at the scriptures before I get to the cross, and I don't think things change um, or or should have to change too much, but before I get to the cross, I see people come to God, then leave God. Come, leave, get in sin, get punished. Um, God brings them back. They repeat the, this vicious cycle, not just in the book of Judges, but all throughout the history of Israel. This is what I keep seeing. This is what I continue to see. And then he says his remedy for that is going to be to put his spirit in us and cause us to walk in that we will never depart from him and he'll never depart from us. Um, if I'm If I'm a Jew thinking this, I'm thinking a couple things. One, I'm thinking that <clears throat> um, I could believe my, my my forefathers did believe, but their belief was different. I also believe that as I'm looking at the passages, that what he did on on the Day of Atonement was made was made available for all, especially all of Israel, though all of Israel did not benefit from it. And so I understand that there are those that believe that yes, that this that this propitiation is only for the world. But as I look at it, I see the propitiation for not just for those that are believing, but also for those who don't believe. And then my take is shame on them for not believing in what God made propitiation for. That that's just how I look at it. And so I, I would I would say that uh that Christ's death and his atonement was for a uh a particular people i believe that because he said that his purpose for coming was for to save his people and we know that his people were not just jews uh but later initially it was but later but for all all kinds of people jew and gentile we see that in the in the in the in the uh the gospel accounts we see that in acts we see that through the through the other epistles of the of the new testament um I, I do believe also that yes words matter i believe context is key I, I do believe that the scriptures when we when we understand and when we teach uh what christ did that he had a particular purpose and he had a particular plan and, and that is to save his people uh from their sins and he says not all israel is israel so if not all israel are israel uh, and he and he says that to even people that were ethnically uh, those that they, that he had called from other nations. But just because a person is a Jew, he said that doesn't mean anything if you haven't placed your faith and trust in, in the Messiah. So th- where, where I hold to what I stand on is what is what does the Bible teach? I believe the Bible teaches that Christ died 
uh, for the sins of those who, who, who believe. It does not mean that that his that his death could not uh, atone for every single person. But I believe that his atonement was limited. I believe his atonement was for a particular uh, people. Uh, and it was for the people that he has chose to say because he said that my sheep hear my voice. I know them; they follow me. He said that all of the father gives me will come to me and I give them eternal life. And so th that that I believe is clear. Um, I, I know that there are going to be differences with it. Uh, but I think also that there, that is why people um, we, we have these discussions and it could be spirited. It could be it could be feisty and things like that. Um, I, I, I think for me, this is good. I think it's a good discussion we need to have, because, again, like I said at the beginning, it shows us that we can have these types of de debates or dialogues and things like that and still walk away um, supporting each other and even uh, going to bat for each other when it comes to fighting against the real enemy of the gospel. And that is those who teach a different gospel. Mm hmm. I, like I said, so, and now I want to be clear. Cause somebody's going to say, Corey, you don't believe this. You don't believe that. I believe that you, so just so before we leave, so people aren't thinking, man, Corey, cause some people, I think what happens is sometimes people me, miss the nuances or the point of the argument or the discussion. If you follow the channel, if any of you all follow the channel, you know that I believe uh, in a regenerated heart that leads to salvation. Cover that before. You also know uh, that I believe that once a person is saved, a person has professed their faith in Christ, and they are a true Christian, one that the Bible describes as a Christian, a sheep, that person does not stop believing. That person is always a Christian. I do believe that if you are saved today, that you will never lose that. You would never lose that position. I do Now, the issue of the irresistible grace, I'll, I'll, I'll go along with that. Uh, now, obviously, it depends on what somebody means by that. And so um, I think that, <clears throat> by the way, by the way, let me just say this also. Uh, this is why I also believe I, I'm, I'm with Paul. I don't believe that we should have these. And I heard what you, what you said about it. And I, 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 just, I, I disagree with that, that I don't think that we should call ourselves. I'm of this because the scripture literally says don't do that. I understand that you can say that I believe in this in this way because it's just good to kind of help give a person understanding of, you know, what you believe or how you believe or whatever. But I still see, and I've seen this over and over again. I've seen it over and over again that when a person says that I'm this, what they end up doing is defending that for the most part. Why? Because it's just natural in human beings that whatever I've sided with, um, it's going to be that much harder for you to dis, for, for you to convince me that that is wrong. And what ends up happening is, and somebody can say, well, not me, but Maybe not you, not you specifically, but people in general, when we side, when we take a side that this is who I am, this is what I am, we tend to fight that. We tend to engage in, and Christians do it also, engage in this Christian tribalism where I'm a, I'm a, I'm a blood-bought Baptist, I'm a, I'm a, I'm an Episcopalian, I'm a Presbyterian through and through, I'm a, I'm, I'm a uh, 1689 Baptist, I'm a, a London, I'm a, I'm a London Confessional Baptist, I am a uh, Westminster Confessional Faith uh, Calvinist, I'm a, whatever. I am an Arminian through and through. I am dispensational. What it, and I defend those things. And what ends up happening, I defend those things more than Christ. Not saying that's what you're doing, but I but I've seen this happen over and over and over. That's why Paul says, when one of you says I am of Paul, one of you says I am of Cephas, or one of you says I am of Apollos, we are then, according to Paul, behaving like mere men. And he and I'm sorry, he doesn't give us really the out to say, uh, use these terms to describe who you're with because he, he just says don't do that because we see what I, I don't i don't see what, what does he say don't do that i think i think it depends on the motivation and depends on the on the individual the reason why i say this is because you have in the new testament people being called disciples of john so i think the issue is the issue is well because when because people they're not are, saying who they are they're just, they're, they're just following john but, right. but that's my point but, but still but even with that you're saying you're a disciple of, of john or saying you the saying you're a follower or a learner of John. I mean, a learner of of John. So a person saying, and 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 the reason why I when I when I talk about quote unquote Calvinism, right? I talk about it in the context or in the um, in the realm of a of a theological discussion. I don't walk around uh, saying I'm a Calvinist. I'm a Calvinist. But but when I hear when I hear what what I believe is biblical doctrine being being dunked on and being misrepresented or being attacked, then yeah, I'm because that's like no different. Somebody saying, Okay, y'all Trinitarians. Okay, well, we know that the word itself is not in is, is not in the scripture, but we see the concept clearly taught in the, from the old and new testament. 
So I'm going I'm going to always stand and 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 defend that which I believe is biblical without walking around caping for a man uh, just because of who just because of who uh, they are. So I believe I believe that's a difference with that. I don't I don't I don't want to put on or charge people with something that the scriptures don't. Now, let, in, let me, in First Corinthians three, he does chide and he does rebuke the Corinthian church because of what they were doing. They were glorying and boasting in who they were following instead of following Christ. So that is definitely a, a, a sin. And that's why I said it depends on the it depends on the individual. It depends on the motivation and it depends on what they are or what they are boasting and glorying in. There are people who can be more uh, mature about these things. But for the most part, even as blood bought Christians, even even those who have the Holy Spirit in us, uh, we are still prone to do what what the flesh um, likes. Uh, if I say I'm not a Calvinist, every Calvinist that sees that video is going to have an issue before they even watch the video. If I say I am a Calvinist, every person that's not a Calvinist and is against Calvinist is going to have an issue with the video. Before This is what we do. Not everybody, right. not everybody, right. but some do. And so that's why I'll never say, even if I did believe in all five tenets, which I don't, but if I did believe in all five uh, elements of the, of the tulip, I would never say that I am because Paul, Paul literally says, don't do that. What does he say don't do that at? Well, let's, he says, now I exhort you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you all agree and that there be no divisions among you, but right. that you be made complete in the same mind and in the same judgment. For I have right. been informed concerning you, my brethren, by Chloe's people, that there are quarrels among you. Now I mean right. this, that each one of you, it, it, he, he gives a detail, well, each right, one of you right. is saying, I am of Calvinism, I am of Arminianism, I am of uh, dispensationalism, I am of whatever has Christ, because it's the same thing. If we just take the, the Paul, the Paulus, the Cephas, and place in the different doctrinal camps that we that we ascribe ourselves to, it's the same thing. Has Christ been divided? It doesn't say that 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 any of these people are wrong, that Paul is wrong, Apollos is wrong, Cephas is wrong. Certainly Christ is not, but the point is this, though. That is, we pigeonhole ourselves and place ourselves in these camps. That's why you have these folks that are so anti-Calvinist. And you have these folks that are so pro-Calvinist or who might be anti arminian By the way, People keep asking me, I'm not, Ar I'm not Arminian, guys. I am not Arminian. I'm not Arminian. Okay. But people who, who fight tooth and nail for someone who has the audacity to disagree. Let me just say this. Let me say this. There's not one perfect school of doctrine. Not one. I don't care if you have five or 10 point Calvinists. I don't care if you're an Arminian, provisionist, dispensation. There's not one group that has their doctrine all the way right. I believe that. I believe that. And I've seen that. And certainly there's no one doctrinal school uh, where their actions and behaviors are perfect. And so this is why Paul says that, because what ends up happening is you've got people who place their faith in Christ, who are, as we say, show enough saved, who might be Armenian, who might be dispensational uh, in their in their uh, in, in their in their way of reading and so forth, who might be Calvinistic, who might be provisionist, who, whatever on the same team fighting. Meanwhile, the main enemies are getting by because we're fighting over these things, not if we believe in Christ, but how does that all work? Let's lift the hood and see how this works. And so and that's what we're talking about because I, a lot of folks are still wondering, what do I, like I've, I've stated what I've stated before. If I had never stated, here's what's funny. Here's what's funny. Say, say I think everyone would have to agree with this. <laughs> if you heard me teaching, the overwhelming majority of folks in the chat we're like, yeah, I agree with that. But then if I said I'm not a Calvinist, huh, you're not? Or I am a Calvinist, huh, you are? If it wasn't for the fact that I threw the label out there, then we, we wouldn't even be having this discussion. The fact that somebody said, hey, Corey, you're a Calvinist? I said, no. Well, then other folks bought in this. That's the only reason. And that's why Paul says don't do it. Because what, what ends up happening, we start dividing ourselves up. We, we, we'll get a guy who says that Calvinism is, is, is unbiblical. We'll get another guy that come over here and says that, that if you're not a Calvinist, uh, then you don't know your Bible, right? We start doing that to each other. Meanwhile, we'll let somebody pass who is casting out demons out of babies who out, out of two-month-old babies, which is happening. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, we'll let people just forsake what's clearly taught in scripture because we're over here fighting about, well, let's see, I think you have to regenerate on you. All the now, and, and not that it's not important, all this stuff is important. It absolutely is important, but not to the detriment of the body. That's I it. Agree. I agree. And so that's my no this guy that does anybody believe I'm, a, I'm an Armenian does any I'm, I'm not an Armenian I'm not an Armenian what what do Armenians believe I do not believe you can lose your salvation my friend I believe that the Holy Spirit indwelling in you you are sealed 
until the day of redemption. That is a seal placed upon you and that it is an autobahn, the Greek word, it's a down payment until you reach heaven. That's not Armenian. Matter of fact, that's anti-Armenian. So I'm not so Armenian. I, 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 wanted to, I wanted to say this. So, and, and I guess we can kind of wrap it up. That's up to you. But so we talk about Christians, right? We wouldn't, we wouldn't uh, have a problem being called a Christian. Well, are, that's we, the, are we are we are we called are we told to be called Christians? Well, it's all oh, yeah. Oh, no, well, well, well way. he says Peter says don't don't be don't a be or, or shame when someone calls for being right. a Christian. Christian right. is not because guess what that wasn't. That's just simply being who we're following. Now, if I, I right. say I, 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 yeah, got, I got you, I got it's you. different but to say I'm of Christ. Point, but it goes back to my point about John. You had disciples that were followers of John. All, what I'm saying is. I believe it depends. I, I do not. I do not believe in any of us walking around boasting in no man. I just I don't. But I do believe when we when we read the scriptures, we have examples that show us and teach us that, hey, you have people that were called Christians first in Antioch. Right. Acts 11, I think 11, 20, 26, I think it was. Um, but then you also, uh, like you said, with Peter in first Peter 4, 16, if anyone suffers as a Christian, is not to be ashamed. Right. Mm -hmm. So so. But you don't. But you don't see in Scripture saying, "From now on, call each other Christians." No, they were called, they were called followers of the way. That's what they were called. And, 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 and there is there is a difference if I say that I am of Christ versus I am of anything else. I, I understand that, but but I'm saying you had you still have people who were disciples of of men. And they weren't they weren't castigated and bashed. It, it, it only became a problem, like Paul said, when they were causing. That's the issue, causing divisions. It wasn't the issue of them of who they were following. It was who they were following and them them making themselves better than somebody else because they weren't following them. We find out that as an example, what Jesus' disciples said. Wait a minute, these people these people are casting out demons, but they're not, they're not following us. And Jesus said, Wait a minute, hold up, bro. Uh, if they're not against us, they're for us. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think that that's where we have to be careful, you know, with that. That's just that's just my point. I'm not I'm not I'm not telling people um, that it's a sin to do that. I, I believe you need to check your heart, check your heart and check your motivations on, on why you are saying or boasting in. Or I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a, I'm a you know, a, a blood bar Baptist. I mean, it's, it's the motivation and the attitude, I believe, on what comes up in those types of discussions. We, we should be. Yeah. I'm a Christian. I'm a Bible believing Christian. Whatever. I mean, and if that's your preference, that's your preference. But if I say, "Hey, man, listen, I, I I hold to the doctrines of grace." Oh man, you one of them Calvinists? Okay, bro. I mean, it, it is. I mean, we can have a conversation. I mean, yeah. But, if they want to call you that, you, that's that, that's fine. But I I would say this: I would not go around with 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 the banner of it. Um, now, if someone says, "Oh, you you're Calvinist." What whatever. You know that that that's on them. You can't you can't make another person. Um, be mature. But as for us, we should do it because I, for the sake of the body, would rather not have um, the divisions that we have as many that we do have. Because again, I think the main point, the most important thing is that we preach that Christ had shed his blood mm -hmm. and that if you place your faith in that, you will, will, will be saved. Right. And the love of Christ compels us to do so. And I think if we if we focus on that most importantly, right. because the right. world that we live in is a world that that I excuse me, obviously is going to hell. The world that we live in, if we if we did our job more so, we'd have a lot less hell than we have now on this on this planet. <laughs> because we just don't the harvest is plentiful, but the labors yeah. are few. Pray right. therefore that he sends laborers. Well, we're praying that someone else goes and do the job when we right. ought to be doing it. If we say we love somebody. If we say we've got so much Holy Spirit in us, if we say it shouldn't be people who are um, radically um, charismatic, um, aren't are are less ashamed or or are more bold than we who actually have the majority of the truth, that shouldn't be the case at all. I believe right. that the that that the uh, the Spirit of the Lord saves and saves completely uh, to the uttermost, and I think we right. ought to be preaching that. And so I think it's good to have these. Don't get me wrong. I love having these discussions. I love going through it. I wish that more folks would actually just track with me as we go through this. And folks are like, you know what? I think I see your point. I agree with you. I'm I'm of the, I'm of the opinion because I've seen it happen that when we go through through, through the scriptures, especially when the Bible says we'll, we'll adopt certain principles. We won't do this. Mm -hmm. We won't do that. We won't do this. And everybody's like, I agree. I agree. I agree. And then. 
when we get to the different points that you might want to agree with or disagree with, you're going to hold yourself accountable to what we said. For example, when we have the Bible studies, we say that you cannot, if we're in Exodus, you can't go to Malachi, you can't go to John, you can't go to Philippians to prove your point. Why? I want you to divorce yourself of any preconceived notions, of any doctrine, of whatever it is you think you believe. Let's stay with the text and say what it says. So if I say on what, when was Satan cast down uh, to the earth? If you give me a date, if you say before, <laughs> then I'm going to say you're wrong. If I was grading papers, I'd give you, I'd, I'd, I'd mark that wrong. Why? Because the Bible doesn't say. Now, if you say, I think, then okay, fine. I'll let you make it. But if you say this is when he this is when Satan was cast down down to uh, to the earth, you're gonna you're gonna miss that that question because you gave an answer right. where the Bible didn't, and that's my whole point. And so how I was trained because it keeps me from one being too dogmatic on things that the Bible isn't totally clear about. Right? There's just some things he didn't tell us everything about that we want to know. Right. right. And so what I do is all right. This is what it says. I'm open to it being right. That's like I like I was trying to get the point across. Maybe I didn't do a good enough job. But I was trying to get the point across that these people may have been regenerated in the Old Testament. They may. I just want a passage. Other than that, I'll say no or not, or maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But I don't see that. And so and someone says, no, I see it this way because, hey, man, but I can't be too dogmatic on something that I don't have a definitive scripture, right? And so going through the passages as we go through, like, you know what? Because there was a time that I, that I, that I did hold to probably there was a time where i did actually hold to total depravity the way that calvinists did and there was a time where i held to limited atonement the way calvinists did and i'm not sure, i can't remember if they were at the same time there probably was some overlap where i held to all five tenets of it um or four and a half tenets of it so and you're right i said uh i don't i don't believe that that we choose him i do not believe that guys so I, and if you guys ask me i would tell you i don't believe that we choose him I've had this argument before. I've, I've had arguments with people who, who 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 are against Calvinism, and they assume, well, of course, as you're arguing this, you must you must be one of those Calvinists. Calvinists aren't the only ones that believe in election. <laughs> they, they 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 aren't. Uh, it's not a Calvinistic doctrine. It's a doctrine that Calvin uh, and Calvinists have adopted because there's good biblical evidence to support that. It was it's been there. So anyway, my point is, I would hope that people would try to remove as much of the label as possible and then start listening to what a person is actually saying. For example, uh, Leighton Flowers, who is, you all know who Leighton Flowers is. He he is, if it's Calvinist, he's coming at you, right? And I think he's a good brother, but he has gone out to say that I am a Calvinist. Like, I'm not a Calvinist. Uh, and I've got videos where he's saying that if you believe this and you believe that, then that doesn't make you that you don't believe in total depravity. You don't believe, and so and and a, and a three part, a three point Calvinist is not a Calvinist. He said that. Well, then why are you calling me a Calvinist? <laughs> well, because I feel like saying I I've, I've got this thing where I'm I'm dealing with Calvinism, and so what ends up happening, and I've said this about it before. I I, I love the man, I really do, but I think that he sees Calvinist too much, and I mm. think a lot. It, what happens is a lot of the followers of his see Calvinist too much, and so everything's a Calvinist, like the like the little right. boy from. The sixth sense. I see. I see dead people. Well, I see Calvinists right. all the time. I'm not a Calvinist, and so I thought it was just kind of funny. I was like, I'm not a Calvinist. Guys, a little video I made. I'm not a Calvinist. I'm not a Calvinist. Yeah, you are. No, I'm okay. Fine, fine. If if, if you want to call me that, then then fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make you. If you think that I don't know what I am, then so be it. Right. So be it. Right. I mean, and I think I think that that's where. I try to have conversation with people, um, you know, even even in the chat. You know, uh, I forgot the guy. I think his name was Robert uh, something. The second, you know, uh, came at me because I I hold to the position regarding regarding soul ties. Okay, fine. I mean, I know for people that's that's quote unquote reform that may be uh, may be foreign to them, but I'm like, okay, that's your that's your position. Mm -hmm. I, I I believe I can I can I can hold my own on it and can have a conversation with anybody about it. And it's not just some some charismatic and some type of neo Pentecostal thing. Um, but just because I, I I you know believe that and people want to attack you for it. And I'm like, bro, if you don't want to have a conversation, then bro, let's not let's not even make the, these little pot shot comments. That's what and that's what any of us 
That's yeah. what any of us, if, you, if you're going to make public statements and public accusations, then you should be willing to cam up. If not, shut up. <laughs> I don't get my right. channel. Uh, 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 don't 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 get don't get my channel. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's probably a simulcast. I thought I can say that, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I I would I would say this now, and, and I I try to do this when when someone is in the chats, and uh, they're either misunderstanding, misrepresenting. They may be doing it unintentionally or intentionally. Fine. Every now and then, you'll y'all y'all will see me kind of. Okay, let me just deal with this person. This person will be the featured um, right. comment commenter in the chats today, and so let's just see if I can kind of walk you. There have been a lot of folks on here who have said this, 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 and then all right, let's talk to you. Tell me this, tell me that, and then have changed. So, um, <clears throat> no, Jay, uh, John McCarthy, he's 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 dispensational, but he he's what he calls a leaky. He right. calls himself a leaky dispensationalist. Right. And right. so uh, the, the, the he's difference pretty, he's pretty consistent on that. He's pretty consistent yeah. on that dispensational beliefs regarding, regarding uh, you know. people uh, who are who are hardcore dispensationalists, wh whether you go to a, a DTS or you go to a Tyndale or what have you, they'll say, no, he, he's not. Neither he nor is the master seminary uh, dispensational. But I don't care. Right. I don't care because rather than you saying that I'm a dispensationalist or Calvinist or this or that, just listen to what I'm saying. Right. And I'm going to, I'm going to make you, if you say so, I'm going to make you give me the scripture and I'm going to look at this in the context, who he's talking to, why he's saying what he's saying. And that's how I'm going to do everything. So let me, let me, let's do this though. Um, we've been here forever, but if you guys have a question, we'll take maybe two or three or four questions and so if you guys have a question, real briefly, go ahead and put in the um, a big Q or big question um, and then ask your question relating to this. Not about anything else, but relating to to what we've been talking about. So not about um, Nephilim, not about uh, soul <laughs> ties, not about anything, but just this. My grandson's outside the door yelling. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, I'll, I'll give you guys a, a uh, an opportunity to go ahead and and populate your questions. That is, if you do. And so, and by the way, when I say, I, let me make this clear though, guys, I'm not saying that Christians today choose Christ. I, I say for a fact that Christ chose us, then we choose Him. I'm speaking. <laughs> What's your question? Um, 1689. They said he put his question on the last one. Will all bald brothers go to heaven? Well, I've seen some bad, some bald brothers who I just know ain't saved. So no, <laughs> I would like, I would like to believe personally, this is just me, that uh, uh, Satan probably has a head full of hair. <laughs> I might be wrong. Do you believe? Uh oh. Do you believe? that a person can choose Christ as a act of his or her will apart from chosen or drawn. That was kind of the, the crux of the argument. Um, I think that um, salvifically choosing uh, is a continual thing. I don't think absent the Holy Spirit that can happen. Do I think somebody like like uh, who's described in, um, as Jesus described in the parable of the sowers, could choose for a moment? Yeah, we can choose for a moment, but it's temporary. As Jesus says, it's temporary. That's not that's not true saving faith. And so uh, there is not one person in heaven that that will be in heaven because they chose him first. Um, you can answer this one. Can a person um, can a person lack the ability to believe, but at the same time have the will to believe? I want to believe, but I just don't believe. What do you think? Uh having having the will to believe believe what to believe to believe christ to be saved uh i believe that if a person if a person uh if a person's heart is 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 um uh, being pricked and convicted by the holy spirit to do that i believe the lord would complete and, and, and finish his work with that um no one said that christ is lord except by the power of the holy spirit you know paul says in corinthians so i think that if a person is if a person is coming to that type of realization uh, that they are a sinner and that Christ um, that Christ died for them uh, and, and that they have genuinely and, and, and sincerely 
uh, believe that and place their faith and trust in that, then I believe that that's something that that, that is definitely possible because the scriptures teach that. Um, but if a person is saying that, you know, apart from God's saving work, that they can believe on their own, no, 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 no man can do that. Uh, they, they, and if they do, and it does not last, and it was not sincere faith and sincere belief, that's my position. Okay, Neelan asked me, what's the difference between can't and won't? Can't and won't. One, <laughs> one, one deals with ability. One deals with the will. One, yeah. I, I believe a person. Remember back in, back in the day when we were kids, uh, we would say what well, they would tell us. You know, uh, can I have a piece of candy? They'll say, yeah, you can. But what are you? What what, what should you ask me? May I? Because that denotes permission. Can denotes ability. Will denotes a a a, a motivation or a, you know something that you you want to do. Uh, but can actually denotes ability. I, I can't, I can't jump 30,000 feet. I don't have the ability to do that, but I can fly 30,000 feet in, in a plane. That's something that's different. Monkey Moon says, uh, is Pharaoh in heaven? No, Pharaoh's not. Pharaoh's not in heaven because we know clearly he hardened his heart. Somebody uh, asked uh, Drew, uh, Ike Drewski, uh, at the bottom, I believe, uh, Seiko, do you have videos related to soul ties? Yes, I do. You can go to my channel. Um, I have uh, about two, I think two, two videos, I think at least uh, regarding that under, under BCV, you can pull it up there and you can also email me um, if you uh, have questions about that. And, and if anything is not clear, I have no problem trying to respond. Just give me some time to respond. Cause I do get a lot of emails uh, throughout the week and other correspondence. So, but you can go to my channel and, and, uh, and look that up. Thank you. This, this is probably more, more so for me. Uh, what do you think it means? when Jesus said, nobody can come to me unless the Father draws him. And again, uh, as I'm looking at, uh, not just in this one, but in other uh, passages as well, relating to this, that a person uh, might, there are those, there there were Pharisees uh, who believed, but they weren't, they weren't saved. Why? Because um, for fear of the people. I think that a person who is going to come to him um, they might, there are those folks who will say, yeah, I believe Jesus. There are some folks who might even want to do it kind of secretly, but the people that are going to be drawn and drawn continuously, because this is a, a constant walk. This isn't a one day belief or a, a two day belief or one week. No, this is a constant lifestyle of believing, constant following. And so that's what I think he means that, that those people that are going to be that the only way that can happen is if you be drawn. There are those that can show up at the party for the moment and then depart. They weren't drawn. They weren't of Christ to begin with. Uh, in their mind, made sense. It's a good idea. You know what? You're right. I keep messing up. I think I ought to get saved uh, tomorrow, though. Or, uh, yeah, you know, I'm going to get saved. Why not? What the heck? It's a, it's a fourth Sunday. Uh, and then soon as, as Jesus says, that persecution, trouble, so forth come, they leave. Well, that's not the same kind of faith that we're talking about. And so I think a person could kind of in the head wise, a mental ascent come, but mm -hmm. uh, not in a, as a lifestyle permanently. No, they cannot, according to what Jesus says in John 6. No. Right. Somebody did ask a question, I believe it was uh, one. I'm, I'm, this one is kind of important because it's dealing with salvation. Uh, he said, my Who? brother, my, my uh, Will Leonhart, Leon, uh, Leonhart, I believe, I hope I'm saying your name right. Uh, he says, my brother, I guess he meant to say my brother's gay. How can I reach him? He's lost. Uh, you reach him by, oh. number one, uh, let me say this first and foremost, pray. I think we minimize that uh, because sometimes it's hard, I believe, for kinfolk to reach sinfolk. Um, when, you, when you have family that know you, sometimes it's hard for them to hear the truth that you have to say, even though what you're saying is true. I mean, I got people in my family, uh, you know, they, 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 they don't want to hear what nothing I have to say. So maybe somebody else that maybe they, they say the same thing that you're saying may be able to reach them, but you try. I mean, you can try mm -hmm. to have a conversation with them. Uh, I, I would encourage you again to pray. Uh, I would encourage you to try to talk with them uh, alone and maybe pick a, a place or a, a day where y'all can just go somewhere, sit down, for, you know, have a cup of coffee or, or you know sit somewhere where you it would just be you and that individual you know having a conversation somewhere where there's no distractions or anything like that and share your concerns uh share your concern and then let them know uh you know that you love them but you love them enough to tell them the truth and i think that's what another problem we think that love does not tell people the truth no love confronts 
but it's how we confront. So um, help them to understand that their that their lifestyle is a, is an offense to a holy and righteous God. Uh, let, let them know that uh, if that if they persist in this, the end result of their of their of their life is is hell. Uh, but they don't have to you know stand that that God God can save them if they turn from their sin and 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 repent and trust in Christ. Um, and that let them know that there's no perfect per persons or Christians and nothing like that because people always want to throw that out there. Well, I ain't perfect. Well, join the club. That's not the issue here. The issue is is that how do we how do we see our sin uh, regarding God's word and what He says about us? So I think that that's what I, I would recommend. You know that you do uh, in that, but definitely pray for that individual and pray I that think, God give I, you the word and somebody else for us to do that. Yeah, I think. Listen, I think you should do what we what we would do with anybody who is gay or straight. Uh, give them the gospel. Uh, I have, I've, I've, de I've, I've had some occasions to kind of deal with and minister with people who are um, having issues with their sexuality, either homosexual or even in their desires towards kids. And so the issue is not me giving them the right word. I, I, I can't find the words. I can't find the right program to get them to change their heart. I know one person who can. I know one person who can change their heart. And so um, our issue, the gay person's issue, the straight person's issue, the the, the sinner's issue, uh, even the believer's issue, our ultimate issue is proximity, how close we are with him. And so if this person, that uh, your brother, give him the, uh, the gospel. Give him the gospel. Let him know that he's loved. Now, you're not sanctioning and compromising and giving approval to what he's doing, but you want this person to grow in Christ. I can promise you this, that as he grows in Christ, um, that desire to sin, whatever the sin is, is going to move away and they will be convicted. The Holy Spirit is not going to live in you and leave you unconvicted with your sin. It's not going to happen. So, uh, oh, well, let me, here's the fact that only God, Jesus knows whom he chose. Do you think us not having the knowledge, but the fear, uh, repentance and trust in him is how he causes us thereby he Okay, that's what you're saying. Do I think that 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 this thing keeps moving on me? I just look at it right here. Uh, <laughs> do I think or do we think that us not having the knowledge, but the fear uh, and repentance and trust in Him is how He causes us? I don't know. Um, I I know I know this. When the whole after your heart is regenerated, not only does it make sense to place your faith in Christ after this regeneration takes place, it makes sense to want to stay. There's something in you where now you're bothered by the same thing that the spirit is bothered by. Why? Because the spirit is in you. And so what bothers you is what keeps you sin. And what brings you is what keeps you love for him. And the whole, now how that works, uh, we don't, we can't, we don't have a, a, a microscope to look and see, well, this is, the spirit does this, does this particular nerve ending? It does that. It moves the hand. We don't have that. We, we just don't know totally. All we do know is what the result is of a person having the Holy Spirit in them and that we do know that the people that are in him have been chosen. That's all we know. We don't know who's going to be chosen. Like Jesus says, the Spirit goes where it will. We don't know where it's going from or where it's going to. So it is of everyone who is born of the Spirit. And so when we preach Christ, we're not out preaching. I need everybody who has been elected to come. That's not how we do that. Right. We go out and we just present the good news. And that if you happen to be believing on today, according to Matthew, John 6, you have life going on into the eternity. Right. So Somebody say, you, oh, Lisa said you're three hours in, Corey. Yes, sir. Listen, I'm earning this today. <laughs> yeah, Lisa, listen. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Somebody said, "What's dude said? What's wrong with court? What do you mean? What's wrong with court? Tell me. You tell me what's wrong with me. Who, who, where's it at? Somebody said, what's wrong with court? You tell me. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my oh, best. Man. Oh Lord, Christian, did you just ask me, <laughs> Christian? <laughs> he said, "Why doesn't Corey hold to all five, but only three of the four? We're not. Listen, go back he and watch. Join, yeah, did he just join? Yeah, he must have just joined in. <laughs> yeah, but I, listen." I've, I've covered this before. three hours early. Yeah, I've, I've I've covered this before, guys. I mean, listen, it's, it's not. But I will tell you this though: within what is today? Today is February the something. So we got the twentieth, roughly a month until the Bible study classes start back up. 
I can promise you this, not not guaranteed for everybody, but I can promise you this, a whole lot of folks that, that might be sort of disagreeing with me, when you start going through the class, I can promise you some of you guys are going to change. Oh, I see what you're saying now. And so maybe it's because I'm just not doing a good enough job in these, in these. I, I don't know, maybe I think I must be doing something. But for some folks, again, I don't care who the teacher is or who the person is speaking, everybody is not going to be fully convinced. Ask Jesus. Ask Jeremiah. That's just how it is. And so I'm not bothered by the fact that some folks don't get it. I do hope that everyone gets my passion, gets my heart. And so if I'm wrong, hey, work with me. Pray for me. <laughs> so let's do a couple more questions and then we'll get up out of here because Lisa's going, Lisa's ready to uh, call YouTube on us. <laughs> Uh, let me go to Madison. She says, well, you can ask this question too. Does one have to have the Holy Spirit to be regenerated? How does this line up with the Old Testament since they didn't have the, hey man, Madison, don't go that way. Seiko got this. No, well, I, I, listen. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. We already, already answered that question, but go ahead and try it Yeah, again. yeah. You, you missed another Seiko, swing you, at it. You, listen, you, missed, it. you missed Seiko messing the question up. He, he got it all wrong. I just, <laughs> <laughs> but you have to have the problem that that God had with mankind is their their incessant desire to want to sin. God, I appreciate what you did, but man, I, right now I'm I'm down with this sin. I appreciate all the listen, I appreciate you, uh, partner Red Sea. I appreciate the man from heaven. I appreciate all that stuff. I appreciate the earthquakes, the tornadoes, I appreciate all the stuff that you've done to deliver us. But but right now, I got my eye on this hit tight woman over there. I'll get with you in a second, Jesus Lord. Well, sin has always been an issue with God always been an issue with God. We have this wayward heart. So what's he going to do? He is going to, his solution is to regenerate the heart. And nobody, nobody, at least for now, the one thing that, that Seiko and I can agree on, nobody, 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 nobody right now past the, the cross gets in without a regenerated heart. Nobody. And so I think now, do you know when your heart becomes regenerated? Because someone asked, how do I know that I've been regenerated? Simple, when you've placed your faith in Christ. That, that, that's how you know. Uh, if you haven't done so, well, then your heart hasn't been regenerated. That's Now, I'll line up with the irresistible grace part on that part that something is working and it causes you that ultimately, because there's, there's no passage, because someone was trying to argue irresistible, against irresistible grace. Pa problem is, we don't have any passages that say that a person, once they have been regenerated, they don't come. We do have one classic text, which is Acts 13, 48, that all who have been appointed to believe did choose and so or did believe. So I think the Bible's batting a thousand or God is batting a thousand when it comes to someone having their heart regenerated and then placing their faith in Christ. Mm -hmm. Let me give you let me let me get a question for um uh, for the OG here. Y'all do realize that even though even though um um I look well, probably what would you say, Seiko? Probably ten years younger than you. I'm only a no, couple. I not, I, no, I would not say that. I'm only. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would not say that. I would not lie. <laughs> I would I'm not lie for you either. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell him right. He's like, well, I'll tell the police right where you are. Yeah, he over here lying. Seiko a hater. <laughs> Seiko a hater. Seiko's a hater. Why? How am I ducking you? What, what, this guy said, "Stop ducking you." I'm, I'm probably giving you too much time. To be honest with you. Oh, How am man. I ducking you? Um. No, nah, I love you though. Sixteen eighty nine. Um, he said. Somebody said, Christina. She said, "Can you get? Can you answer my question based on the example that you gave regarding the gay person? In order for them to be saved, they would need to be a part of the elect. We, we don't know who the elect are, and 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 so that's that's the, so when, when the elect are those who are saved. That's how we know that they're the elect. But nobody knows who the elect are. Only God does." God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit know who the elect are. Our job is to scatter the seed. Our job is to preach the gospel. Our job is to preach repentance to everyone. That's our job. It's God's job to do his job, but it's our job to go out and make disciples. It's our job to go out and evangelize the lost. That's what Would you agree talking. with this? Tell me, tell me, because someone asked a question, since we don't know, why then do we talk about it? Why do we talk about what? About election and so forth. Tell me if you agree with this. I say the reason for it is what it does. It demonstrates what God did for us and how much more we should love for the person who, and somebody might, might be adopted out there. Somebody, I mean, legitimately adopted their, their right. birth mother and father are not, not the ones who raised them. 
Mm-hmm. And I've got a couple of buddies, good friends, who were adopted. Their parents chose them and they they won. They weren't the prettiest. I, I can tell you for a fact they weren't the prettiest baby. But then two. Oh, man. <laughs> Dang, I, they're bro. my buddies. I can say it. Uh, but then two, Dang. even after how they lived after getting adopted, mm-hmm. their parents still didn't get rid of them. Probably should have. <laughs> it shows how much their earthly parents love them in spite of. I think the reason that God is that God brings this out in scripture, because truthfully, if he wanted to keep it a secret for he could have. Mm. Uh, we, we we would still be preaching. We didn't we don't have to know what's happening internally for us to still do it. Right. But just to know, like, you did that for me. Well, for we're me? commanded, we're commanded to do it. So, first of all, why do we do it? Why I mean we're commanded to preach the gospel, we're also commanded to teach what he what he taught. So, um, and, and sometimes those things are not going to be popular, like this conversation is not going to be mm-hmm. popular for everybody. Um, but we're commanded if we, if I'm, if I'm Christ's ambassador and I am, then I'm commanded to say what the King says. That's yeah. it. I, 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 did, I listen, I tell people all the time, God wrote it. I just quote it. That's mm-hmm. it. I, I, I deliver the mail. I, I, I'm, I'm in the mail room and whatever the, 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 uh, the, uh, mail master says, a postmaster says, then that's what I do. Period. So I don't, I don't, I don't determine um, and dictate the message how uh, God wants to have it done. No, I'm, I'm to say and to preach what thus said the Lord, and 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 we're not always going to get it right, but we don't make excuses for that. We should be making confessions for it yeah. and striving to do what, what pleases the Lord going forward. Tell you what, we're going to have to do though. I'm 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 going to try to get get some guys together, uh, maybe one or two other people on on kind of my closer to how I believe and one or two other guys closer to how you believe. And let's just kind of have a, a, uh, not, not a discussion about it, but a Q and a, uh, that will also lead into us having discussion. Uh, Art Goon says, thank you for the super chat, by the way, by the way, the rest of you guys that, cause we were having the discussion. I did not get a chance to thank you all as well. For the yes. Super chat as well. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yep. but he says, how can, or can a Christian get their name blotted out? There's, there's a passage. There is a passage in Revelation 3, or just so I can mess with Seiko, Revelations with S, <laughs> Revelation 3, 5. That's so petty. He's <laughs> so you don't just don't attack me. Petty. Let me put on the screen. Because uh, I want you all to see, I think it's important to see what it says and what it doesn't say. I think that it's extremely important. It says, he who overcomes, and by the way, this is in the present active participle, the Nikon, the overcoming ones will thus be clothed in white garments. So if you're no, if you're overcoming, if you're one of the overcoming ones, then he says you will be clothed in white garments. Now, before I continue, who are the overcoming ones? According to John, first John, by the way, John wrote the same passage, the same as well. He says the overcoming ones are those who have been born of the spirit. Very important. Right. So those who are born of the spirit are the overcoming ones and the overcoming ones will, according to this passage, will be clothed in white garments. And I will, look what he says, I will not erase or blot his name out of the book of life. For some reason, people take this passage to say, well, he says, I will not or never ever blot your name out. By the way, why do I say never ever? Look, let me make this a bit bigger in the Greek. If you notice where he says, I will not you have what's called a ume in front of, look down the bottom left, it's a future active indicative, meaning that it is impossible. He negates the possibility of a future act of negating or, or blotting someone out. Therefore, right. it's not going to happen. So my question then is, why then do people turn around and say, not you, but others turn around and take right. this passage to say that, you mean tell me he can blot us out? When he just said, I will not, I will never, never ever ever erase right. your name from the book. But he says, what I will do, though, what I will is I will confess your name before my father. So he says what he will do and what he won't do. What he will do is not blot your name out. And if you want to go to Revelation 22, 19, uh, unfortunately, guys, uh, for some, there are some versions that will have uh, blot his name out of the book of life. It's of the tree of life. Not a big difference in terms of salvation, but in terms of someone having their name blotted out, it is a big difference. And so what if it's not, not, not what it actually says, but there is no passage that says that our names can be blotted out, blotted out of the book of life, period. So, um, but yes, yeah, I want to see if I can get some folks together. 
not who sure. Talk, when, who do you have in mind? I have nobody in mind. I, listen, first okay. of all, getting somebody to want to deal with you and me at the same time, it's going to be difficult. <laughs> don't, it's going to be pretty difficult. <laughs> Now these people, see, I, I know you hold to the last to the last tenet of uh of, of the of the doctrines of grace, perseverance. These people have persevered, so these people are gonna these people are gonna have their their right to the tree of life, uh here. So, <laughs> yeah, or the book of life. <laughs> but yeah, this this is uh this was good. I mean, you know, uh, but but Dan did ask a question about John MacArthur. Say, would we would we ever want to debate him? I, I would have a problem having. A, I would like to have a conversation with John MacArthur. I mean, we have a lot of questions to ask this man uh, regarding recent developments. I, I would say uh, pray for him. Mm -hmm. uh, pray for Grace Community Church. There's a lot of issues going on over there that have yet to be addressed and dealt with. Um, and you, we can ignore it all we want. I believe that God's providence has allowed a lot of these things to surface and come up to the top. And um, we, we, need to, we need to avoid favoritism. We need to avoid bias and uh we are and, and matter of fact i don't know if you saw this corey we can wrap this up i don't know if you saw this but you may mm -hmm. want to check out the last portion of the video that i did last night uh your boy Al, Al, isaiah saldivar had uh had went at uh ben shapiro and his denial of jesus being being god um so much so to whereas i used that video as a as a slam dunk against john MacArthur affirming ben shapiro saying that we we both we both uh have the same god no we do not um ben shapiro does not have the same god that that christians have he denies the deity of christ he denies that jesus is is god let alone the messiah he said that jesus basically got in trouble with the roman government and that's how he got that's how he got knocked off i mean that type of desperate language disparaging language bro he said that on um uh what's uh, joe rogan Said on Joe mm -hmm. Rogan's show, so I, this stuff, man, it's not it's not a game. We we need I, to be careful. I think I think this is about MacArthur. Uh, I'm a fan of MacArthur, but that doesn't mean that I that there aren't things that I would that I would wouldn't call out. Uh, and I think that's just the same with me. I, listen, I'm a fan of Seiko. I, I'd call I'd call him out. I'm a fan of who I'm a fan of anybody who is in Christ, uh, but that doesn't mean that I can't call them out. And so if there's something, and I think the I think the the the, the bad the, the the worst part about all of this is with the whole. Uh, lady being put out is, uh, I think it was a class. It was a it was a, a an opportunity missed, and here's what I mean by that. Everybody messes up, everybody, and he's been in ministry for longer than you and I have been alive, and so certainly he's messed up. He's he's made some mistakes. He has a um, a a ministry that most pastors would would, would envy. He didn't have a whole. Now he's got some issues that need to be dealt with, but he's not necessarily a. Um, he's not a heretic, um, and so here's a golden opportunity to say, "Yeah, guys, we messed up," and you. It could be a teachable moment, and it also shows uh, the fact that we're not above saying that we messed up because er, er, that's not a church in, in America that had messed up. Not a pastor had, who had messed up. Unless right. your name is Jesus and you ain't at the pulpit, you've messed up. Right. So I think it was a good, it, it, it was an opportunity missed where it said, hey guys, yeah. Uh, and plus it was in the past. We messed up. Uh, we should have did this. But if you double down and say, no, we didn't. Well then, doggone it. it some, you did. You messed up with Eileen Gray. You, you, you just did. And I'm not uh, destroying you for it, but you got to be able to say, even the group around, yeah, I just, we, we, we didn't do that right. Everybody can say that. We messed up. Right. Listen, Seiko's going to go back and watch the video and say, you know, yeah, I messed up with Corey. I, yeah, I bit, bit off more than I chew. Shouldn't have did it. <laughs> I, 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 only thing I messed up with, only thing I messed up in is letting this, letting this, 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 this person think that he, that he, that he won something. Uh, hmm. I'll, I'll say this. We got to wrap it up, bro. I know. We yeah, we do. We, I'm at least too. about to pull her hair out, bro. Let's see. She, she oh, about man. It. You look uh, up. We, <laughs> listen, we, we saw it. Well, yeah, you see, right. Uh, uh, I, I, I think you need to check out. Because this is not this Eileen Gray is not the only issue that MacArthur has. There, there, there was another uh, abuse claim that just happened last year. Same, same. It's like a, the repeating cycle, bro. So this is not this is not a a one time issue that happened twenty years ago. This is something also that happened just recently a year ago, where a woman was told to go back to her abusive husband. Uh, under the biblical quote unquote biblical counseling mm -hmm. of Grace Community Church. Uh so again, this this stuff is serious, y'all. And uh we need to be be 
on guard and guard ourselves from idols. It ain't yeah. just about the Mormons and the Muslims and the and the Roman Catholics that got idols. We got idols in our own camp. We need to yeah. call it out and deal with it. So I'm done, bro. I'm Bottom done. line, and, 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 and we're, we're ending. Everybody, yeah. we we mess up. We we are full of messing up, and so um, we should be open to be wrong, to be corrected. But what we should be always doing is striving to get and be closer to him. Y'all, thank y'all for being here. This has been wonderful. Uh, I'm probably, I'm not doing another video for another week. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I'm kidding, no. I got seven videos. I'm doing seven videos. Uh, because of how things are with me, I, I have the ability to just push record and so forth. But I listen, <laughs> the reason why we do this, um, I do not spend a lot. I don't ask for a whole lot from you guys or what have you. you know, we're not you know, money hungry, this and that or whatever. Neither one of us. And so, um, the main issue is the reason why I love the Bible and I love you guys. I love just saying, hey, y'all, this is what it is. I wish I could do more Q&As and so forth. Uh, <laughs> hey, man, doggone. I'm sorry, Lisa. <laughs> but but I, 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 I cannot overstate it, the fact how much we love you guys. And so um, the reason why we do this is just one for our edification, but also for yours. So, yeah. guys, thank you so much. Seiko, thank, thank you, you so much, bro. This was, this Appreciate was you. Appreciate this my good. brother. Appreciate I, know, I can't tell you how you know it's like going to be a lot of folks going to do reaction videos to this thing. So, I can't that's wait. Cool. That's cool. Listen, guys, God bless you, and we will see you all when we see you.